Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Marvel Legends series Amazon exclusive Spider-Man 5 pack. Here we have the one that comes with the ultimate uh, symbiote or black costume Spider-Man figure. Uh, Silvermane, Molten Man, the Human Fly, and Razorback. So this is one that I know a lot of people don't really care about. Don't, didn't really want um, shelf warmer, online peg warmer, click warmer, whatever. Um, Amazon kept selling out of it. I think it might be available now. Uh, but this is Repaint City. Not not a single figure is new in this. There are some new things to some of the figures. Um, and I think, well, Razorback's head sculpt, Human Fly's head sculpt, Molten Man's head sculpt. But Silvermane gets some new arms, and that's really it. But it's, you know, it's it's a lot of repaints and stuff. The artwork looks pretty cool. It's so, such kind of a large box, I can't really show everything in frame unless I turn it to the side. But you see Human Fly there, Molten Man, Razorback, Silvermane, and Spider-Man there. Um, on the back of the package, we get kind of a bio read-up for each one. So for Spider-Man, it reads... Uh, over the years, Spider-Man has clashed with a vast rogues gallery consisting of villains, both menacing and bizarre. And this box set focuses on the bizarre. Uh, Silvermane, the, mag the, the Magia leader and corrupt magnate known as Silvermane, has sworn to destroy Spider-Man. Uh, human fly, Richard Deacon was a small-time criminal before he coerced a geneticist into combining his DNA with that of a fly, giving him superhuman attributes and compound eyes. Weird. Uh, Molten Man, an accident with his own experiment, leaves former Oscorp scientist Mark Raxton with the metal skin and explosive heat powers. Uh, Razorback, inspired by tales of costume adventurers on the East Coast, Arkansas trucker Buford Hollis takes up the mantle of Razorback with mixed results. I don't know what they mean by mixed results. But anyway, Razorback is the one that um, that kind of Foosh got to, um, Robo got to uh, announce at Comic-Con. They kind of called him up to the stage and, and stuff to, so they could talk about it um, and stuff. He was actually the first to have a full-on review. But I think on his, though, his silver mane, like the sides of the head actually had human skin tone color as opposed to the silver on the sides to cover up where his ears would be. So it's kind of a funky thing. Uh, but that's the box. Let's get right into the figures. I already have them out and posed out and took some pictures and everything. So let's get right to them and check them out. Okay, so here are the figures out of the package. And man, what a hodgepodge of random, mixed, uh, weirdo, bizarre... Uh, characters. Molten Man, you know, we have the MCU version uh, that was a Build-A-Figure, not the same, not cool. I, a lot of people hate that one. I thought it was an alright figure. It was based off the design of the movie, so I'm cool with that. Silvermane, um, they just kind of reused that Ultron, not Ultron, the Ultimate Beetle. Ultron figures did use it. Uh, but the Ultimate Beetle uh, body, which a lot of people did do in the past, so I think Hasbro was looking at it like, hey, Lots of customizers did it. They just kit bashed their own Silvermane. Why can't we do it? They one-upped it by by making new arms, sure, but you know they just kind of went for it. It's not accurate to Silvermane at all. Um, but hey, at least it's got a body. You know, the previous Silvermane that we got was a little RC car. Um, it's the same head sculpt, unfortunately, but um, definitely going to be some better things to it. So we'll take a look at those um, there. Uh, but just yeah, a lot of. A lot of repaints and stuff, but let's go through it and let's take care of these um, one by one. Let's go through Razorback first, and then we'll work our way through each figure. Um, likely not going to go over full articulation because Bucky Cap we've seen many, many times. Uh, Spider-Man 2099 we've seen many, many times. Ultimate Spider-Man, though, we haven't seen that too often. This is the only fourth Maybe fifth figure, I guess, Kid Nova, Sam Alexander, that kind of uses some of the same parts. Um, and then Silvermane isn't a whole lot of new either. Um, and then Razorback, I think, is going to be the young Thor body. Um, so, again, figures that we've all seen before, so I'll quickly go over articulation on each one. I'm going to try to make this video, you know, not super long. Um, I have, usually have a hard time doing that and I end up going really long. I'm going to really try this time, though. Okay, so here's Razorback. Uh, the head sculpt looks pretty good. It's just this gigantic piece that's plopped onto the head. Um, there, you see his human face. 
um, in there and that looks pretty good. The digital print, uh, digital print came out really nice. Um, nice clean paint apps in there, looks pretty good. If anything, his lips are a little too reddish in color. Same problem that the Retro Scorpion kind of had. Um, looking at the boar uh, head sculpt, and that looks pretty good. We get some shading in some of the fur areas to really kind of bring out the darkness of the fur right in there in between those eyes and then the top hair piece. Uh, looks pretty good. Nothing really on the back. It's just really on the front, but again does look really nice now The head does pop off. Ooh, I didn't like that crack. Maybe I should be a lot more careful how I do that You can see kind of how the head is in there Ooh. And it is on the dumbbell joint um, initially. I was told that this was going to be the uh, Hyperion body mold uh, But it is not the legs might be I'd have to double check. I don't have a Hyper Hyperion body mold figure uh, handy uh, but you can see just standard head sculpt kind of popped in there. I know um, Robo has actually put this like head on an Omega Red body mold, and that seemed to work out really well. Uh, I think it's fine here. It's just all green with some yellow parts. There is there's no paint on this guy whatsoever. The only paint would be in the head sculpt and stuff. Uh, but the rest of the figure, no paint. Yellow belts. Uh, yellow uh, straps there that are just kind of floating around and then he's got these yellow boots all repaint so no pinless um, anything the head though you're not going to get to look up or down or anything you would have to use the ab crunch which crunches forward that much crunches back that much I guess we'll go through the articulation you know kind of this way legs go out that far apart can't kick forward that much he does have double uh, jointed knees like so you have a calf swivel at the top of the boot Foot hinges all the way down, a little bit of hinge up, ankle pivot, peg holes at the bottom of the feet. Shoulder goes straight on out. There is an upper bicep swivel. Uh, you can do a full rotation, just keep in mind, you gotta kinda watch out for that head sculpt. Uh, upper bicep swivel, double jointed pinned elbows, you get that much bend there, a little bit more than 90 degrees. Wrists swivel and they do hinge. Um, and then he has a waist swivel in there. So that is Razorback. Um, I guess I should show a comparison with the Spider-Man that he comes with. This is the ultimate Spider-Man. So what we have here is a teenage version of Peter Parker. So the body mold that they use is extremely small and it is symbiote. So they wanted to go with a little bit of a different look and they went on a full mega metallic purple for this guy um, and as opposed to like maybe a black uh, finish with some highlights and things in it. No, they went full on purple, which is pretty, pretty crazy. Uh, but looking at the size difference between these two guys is pretty insane as well as I kind of move around back. But yeah, look at the size difference between the Razorback and the Spider-Man that this figure comes with. And I guess to kind of get it out of the way, I'm going to have here are the other figures as they're all kind of side by side. If I wanted to throw Razor back in there, he would just tower, tower over every single one of them. But I could take a look at accessories. So Razorback actually didn't come with anything. We go left to right. We got Human Fly. He comes with a pair of open um, holding hands, sea grip hands. Um, and then, he, of course, he has the whole wing setup and everything. Molten Man, he actually has a lot of fan, um, human torch parts. So he has the hands uh, with the flames coming out of them. And he has that flame back piece that we added uh, to the back. He also comes with a pair of fists, as you can see there. And then he has these two magic flame um, effect pieces that come with a bunch of other characters. Nothing new there. Uh, the Spider-Man, he comes with fists. He also has the wall crawling hands, and then he has thwip hands. Uh, Silvermane comes with two guns, which we'll take a closer look at when we look at Silvermane. Um, and then he has um, a fist for each hand, and then he has a trigger finger for each hand. And the trigger finger hands do have the vertical hinge, so that was pretty awesome that they did the correct hinge. So if they're going to do new hands, they did the right thing. So now let's get into Human Fly. Okay, so there is Human Fly looking crazy. Look at that screaming head sculpt. It came out looking pretty good. You know, that usually with an open mouth, they have a separate jaw piece to make sure that they get the paint and everything inside all good. No, but they did a pretty good job here. Looks like a little bit of fuzziness around the, where the skin tone and the green meets on both sides. But overall, not too bad. You can see the sculpt, um, like the line work in the eyes to have those compound eyes or whatever they call it. It's kind of interesting. Um, he's all yellow, bucky cap with some green paint on there. No real issues, as you can see. 
they only add a little bit of paint there on the legs, a little bit on the arms and stuff. Look like he has arrows. But otherwise, it's just this really bright yellow. Not a whole lot going on for it. And again, he does come with two open hands in addition to these fists. The way the wings work, and the wings look really nice, by the way. Um, but you have this piece here that pegs into his back, which, damn, it's on there pretty good. It doesn't come on there. You have to peg it on there and I for whatever reason just can't seem to take it off which is a good thing though because you don't want this thing to just like randomly fall off right so <laughs> it's like embarrassing I can't I can't take it off so it, it's on there ni nice and tight I'm gonna have to I'd have to pry it off of there I'm not really going to the the way the wings are they can swivel like so there and you just pop them in like I could I could sure I could take it out as you could see here you can see the indents of the track where you would just, you know, pop it right back on in there. On video where I can't do it and you guys are all going to make fun of me. There we go. Popped it back in. So there are the wings. They look pretty good. The little translucent blue color. But then you get this these areas where they add in a little bit of paint and it's a little bit rough in the mold. And that really looks good. Helps bring out the details um, of the wings. So again, that is at its highest point. That is at its lowest point where they are straight out. Uh, but that works out pretty well. So that is Human Torch, and he is Bucky Cap. I'm not going to go over the articulation for Bucky Cap. Um, we've seen Bucky Cap a million times. You guys know exactly what to expect out of him. He does have the ridiculously tiny-ass feet, though. I hate those. Okay, here is Molten Man. His head sculpt is way up there. Like, damn. Oh, wait. Kind of just popped off. Maybe it was just loose and not all the way on there. No. It's, eh, I, okay, it's not as bad. It's still a little bit high on there, I guess, but not as bad. He's done in this metallic yellow color, the entire thing. There's no paint on this guy except for, boom, the hands. The, so the fire on his hands, as you can see, nothing new. We've seen these before, but a nice orange color for the fire, uh, for those flames that are coming out of his hand. But again, all metallic yellow, but that is 100% comic accurate. So... Um, it's not that Hasbro was lazy in any way, um, but it's also lazy in a way. I mean, these are the kind of the things that repaints are going to happen. You have an exclusive set. An exclusive set shouldn't be the most, um, popular things that everybody's going to want, but then not everyone can get because it's an exclusive. Um, and then when it's a box set, usually not everyone's going to want to get every character or figure out of the box set. And I think this is one where a lot of people are just very good with, uh, passing on the whole thing. Um, but keep selling out, which was odd. Uh, but the Molten Man, not a whole lot to it. That head sculpt is new. He's got silver eyes there. Um, again, comic accurate. Not a whole lot going on for it. Um, I had the flame piece. Oh, the flame piece came off. So he does come with this flame piece. And that just, you know, rests on the back there as if some of him is on fire. Um, because he, again, molten, yeah, right? Molten metal, really hot. Uh, it's the 2099 body. So this is the good body that has the nice articulation. He can crunch uh, forward. It can go back a little bit as well. Uh, he does have the butterfly joint. Ooh, that was a little stiff. He has the butterfly joint, so you can get the arm to go back quite a bit. You can get some good uh, crossbody going in there. Let's see if you work the shoulder out. Uh, yeah, you can get some really good crossbody that you can't get with a lot of the other figures. Um, of course, you know, upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows and knees. Of course, they are pins. Wrist swivel, and they do hinge. Legs go out that far apart, can kick forward that much. Uh, goes back a little bit, upper thigh cut in there, double jointed knee. They, they are pinned because, again, this is a repaint. We've seen it before. Calf swivel, foot hinges down, hinge up, ankle pivot, peg holes at the bottom of the feet. So that is Molten Man, just a lot of yellow um, and repaint. There's some marbleization in there because of the metallicness, but it doesn't look too bad. It kind of makes sense when you have something that's, you know, molten metal that's kind of flowy and liquidy looking. Uh, so that works out well. Okay, so Silvermane. This head sculpt is not actually new. It is the same one that we got before, but the other one before, man, it was pretty crappy, right? Look at all that skin tone still showing. The base plastic is the skin, or, or actually the head sculpt um, base is the silver color, and then they painted the skin tone on there, um, and it's 
it's bad looking. Like you can see the silver under the skin tone paint that they use. As you can see, huge upgrade with the digital print. So you actually get some liver spots in there. You can really see the wrinkles and kind of how they um, come out looking. The bags under his eyes have a little bit of pink color to them. They just did a really good job. And as you can see over here where his ears would be, that is painted silver. And I think it was in Robo's review where it was actually skin tone on his. He would have gotten um, like the uh, um, a sample set from Hasbro directly since he kind of was involved in the Razorback announcement. You know, it's likely that Hasbro would have sent him that box set. You know, anytime they do an announcement, that that's how that works. You know, you get the figure um, that you announce or reveal or do a first review. They didn't. They never sent me a. Um, Ulick, but I, I, you know, I picked one up on my own, but that's usually how they would do it. So that's probably why his would have the flesh tone because it was a sample production sample. Um, and you know, maybe one of those last minute changes that that was made, uh, before full production runs. But if you have skin tone on yours, I'd be curious, you know, you let me know down in the comments below. Now the arms are new on this guy, but the body is old. It is the ultimate beetle body. As you can see the way the feet are, the terrible, tiny little knees and stuff and all the bubbles that, that were all like painted red, but the arms are new. Now I wonder if the arms are going to be the same for pretty boy in the X-Men 60th anniversary villains box set I'll have to double check there because they are pinless and as you can see it looks like the, it could be the pretty boy arms but I'll have to take a look but we get some nice coloring on here so a nice silver paint uh, through most of it and then the the shinier parts the lighter color parts those are all like a metallic plastic so that's not actually going to be uh, paint at all the torso is paint however but on some of these other areas it's going to be the molded plastic that, that we're seeing there um, and you know I I, eh, I mean it looks pretty good but you know Silverman there should be wires and stuff more of a human looking shape to it um, this just isn't really accurate um, but the head sculpt uh, again does look fantastic but you know looking at the shoulders I think the shoulders might be the same but the arms are new you can get the shoulder to go straight on out upper rotation you have an upper bicep swivel it's just like a round piece there uh, double jointed pinless elbow so you get that much bend at the knee which is good wrist swivel and they do hinge the trigger finger hands the right and left that we have uh, do have the vertical hinge while the others have kind of the standard horizontal hinge ab crunch you can crunch forward that much you can go back uh, slightly there you get a waist swivel in there legs go out that far apart you can kick forward really really high straight on out leg goes back the legs kind of feel loose but he doesn't really feel wobbly it's kind of weird upper thigh cut in there i hate these thin double jointed knees but you get that much bend i guess that works out well it's just look how narrow that knee gets I just kind of hate the way that looks no calf swivel or boot swivel or anything you get a little bit of hinge down on the foot tiny bit going up ankle pivot peggles at the bottom of the feet there um, in terms of articulation he does come with probably the most uh, because he actually has additional accessories so out of the package you have one uh, uh, fist and you have one trigger hand and then we have the other opposites there but we get two guns so we have here this shotgun looking thing and this is all done in a dark gray plastic with a little bit of even darker gray uh, paint on there for this one so a nice trigger trigger you get a double barrel shotgun type weapon and this easily fits in the um, the trigger finger hands you just have to work that handle in the hand and then you get the trigger finger going on in there as you can see there uh, but that's not all he comes with another weapon and then this one is just done in kind of the same silver color as the other gun but this one's definitely a little um, more futuristic looking and everything. It's got a revolver barrel. That's kind of weird. So pretty crazy looking. So that is the other gun. And again, same thing. Um, fits right on into the hands. And then you have the trigger finger. Uh, so it goes in there like so. Yeah, but two guns for Silvermane and two hands. He's got the most of the articulation. Um, and I guess, you know, new unique sculpts. Except I'm going to double check if they can with, come with uh, a pretty boy. Okay, yep, same exact arm uh, for Pretty Boy. They didn't change anything, it is the same thing. So while it looks like we got some new stuff for Silvermane, it's Pretty Boy, or if we think Pretty Boy is 100% new, well, no, not really, because boom, I behold the arms already used on Silvermane. 
Okay, so again, four times the Ultimate Spider-Man body mold has been used specifically for Spider-Man since Sam Alexander Nova. I forget exactly how many pieces of this figure is going to be the same, uh, but that is not a Spider-Man character, even though he was in the Ultimate Spider-Man show. But anyway, we have the two, the three, two different Ultimate Spider-Mans, Peter Parker and Miles Morales. So these two were in the Space Venom wave that released at the same time. They were both double packed, and then at some point they became very difficult and expensive to get a hold of still very good figures that i really like but the walmart exclusive two pack with vulture i really like these colors a lot more and it's a very good body mold although i seem to have issues with the, sh the right shoulder on each of these i don't know if this one's going to be an issue no definitely not because man that that moves nice and easy whereas the other ones are completely stiff as hell and just i don't want to move Oh no, this one's okay. Maybe so it was just at, maybe at the time these ones, since these released at the same time, those shoulders were just a hell to to kind of maneuver around. Um, but we have these, and again here the symbiote or black costume is super purple, like purple, 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 metallic purple. It's kind of crazy. We'll get in for a closer look. Um, he does have a new head sculpt, whereas the, the eyes on the previous ones, you can actually feel the outline around the white. Um, whereas these ones, the whole thing is large white. There's no, it doesn't actually really have the outline. So the head sculpt is actually new on this guy. So let's get in for a closer look at it. Okay, so close look at Spidey. He is purple. Look at that metallic purple shine on there. Crazy. Uh, I got a little bit of white paint on mine there, but otherwise the lines of the legs look pretty good. So from the back, that spider logo looks pretty good. From the front, it's like, well, what the hell happened to the lower body of it? Like if you crunch him back, you're like, oh, there it is some of it, but then he's not really standing straight. Like you got, it's like, well, what the heck? So when you he's in the standard position, the spider logo just looks really weird. Eyes look really good, but man, again, super purple. He does come with all of the hands that you could want, though. So he's got wall crawling hands, he's got thwipping hands, and then he also has fists. So that works out really, really, really well. But man, again, all super metallic purple. But I do want to show you this guy's articulation since this is the least used body mold out of all of them. Okay, Spider-Man's articulation. The head is on a dumbbell joint, uh, not a dumbbell joint, disc, ball disc hinge, so he can look down that much. He can look up that much, so that works out really well. Full rotation in that head, of course. Some pivot, not a whole lot. The shoulders can go up and out like so. You get a full rotation. Uh, there is the upper bicep swivel in there. A double jointed uh, pinned elbow, because it is an older body mold, but you get that much bend there. Wrist swivel, and they do hinge. They are smaller um, arms so those these hands kind of do have a tight fit so you could swivel but you know it's not super easy but you know that they're in there nice and strong but be careful when removing and you know swapping out the hands he can crunch forward that much crunch back that far there we have a waist swivel in there legs go out that far apart not a whole lot he can kick forward very very high with the way as you can see you can kind of see the cuts in on the the legs there so because of that he could kick in you can you know what you can move him in a little bit more and it won't look as bad but he could still kick forward very very high leg does go back a little bit upper thigh cut in there double jointed pinned knee because again it is a repaint there but we do have a calf swivel in there foot hinges all the way down uh, not really a hinge up ankle pivot pickles at the bottom of the feet so uh, pretty good articulation one thing that I remember is that he actually had fairly good cross body without even having a butterfly joint in there so that is pretty good but ultimate spider-man there he is okay so there is the five pack I think again easy easy pass for a lot of folks I think people probably would have wanted silver main the most out of the set um, or this Spider-Man. The Spider-Man, every Spider-Man figure is definitely good to have. Uh, but this box set, again, is not definitely not going to be a fan favorite and most likely will become cheap um, at some point. I would imagine probably really cheap. Look out for Black Friday deals. I'm sure it's, you know, the sales on it will slow down and people will want it cheap and Amazon will lower the price and probably have it available forever because 128 bucks, that's a lot of money for a five pack of these characters that really people don't know, don't care about and are all straight up repaints. 
some cool things. The Razorback head sculpt is really cool. I like the purple of the symbiote Spider-Man. Silvermane is not bad. That head sculpt is fantastic, though. Molten Man and Human Fly, eh, super meh. Don't need them, not necessary. But you guys let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below. If you guys are interested in joining the MCU Collective and becoming a channel member, hit that join button. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you for watching.